In the opening chapter of Jekyll and Hyde, we are introduced firstly to the character of Mr. Utterson the lawyer. Stevenson establishes Utterson as trustworthy and reliable, which is important because much of the action which follows is seen through Utterson's eyes. Mr. Utterson goes out walking every Sunday with his cousin Mr. Enfield, and it's on one of these walks that they happen to wander down a side street in a busy part of London. It's a very attractive area where all the residents are quite wealthy and successful. This setting is disturbed by a building which is described as sinister. It is neglected and on the outside its doorways are frequented by tramps and gangs of children. Upon seeing this building, Enfield tells Utterson about how, one night at about three in the morning, he was walking home and began to get an eerie sensation, a feeling that something was not right. All of a sudden, he saw two figures running towards each other from separate streets. One was a small man and the other a young girl. When the two met, Enfield tells Utterson, the man trampled calmly over the child's body and left her screaming on the ground. Enfield and a doctor who stopped by to help the girl both promise to ruin the man's reputation across town unless he pays £100 to the girl's family, a huge amount in those days. The man agrees and goes in through the door of the building that Enfield had pointed out to Utterson on their walk. He returns with gold and a cheque to bring the sum to £100. Enfield doesn't trust the man. He recognises the name of the person who signed the cheque, although he won't mention it to Utterson. Concerned that the cheque might be a forgery, Enfield, the doctor and the child's father accompany the man to the bank in the morning. It turns out the cheque is genuine, leading Enfield to believe that this man was blackmailing the person who had signed the cheque, a person he believes to be of the highest reputation. Utterson asks Enfield why he never investigated the matter further. Enfield tells him that the more suspicious a situation looks, the less questions he asks. He mentions that he has observed the house on a number of occasions and has seen no one going in or out except for the man in the story. He also mentions that someone must be living there, although it's difficult to tell where one house begins and another ends in that part of the street. Finally, Utterson asks Enfield the name of the man from his story and Enfield tells him that it was Mr Hyde. When asked to describe him, Enfield says he's difficult to describe, that there's something wrong with his appearance, that he's downright detestable, but that he can't describe him any more specifically than that. Meanwhile, Utterson has managed to figure out who signed the cheque, the one whose name Enfield didn't want to mention, the man he believes is being blackmailed.